Hey everyone, and welcome back to our channel. So today we're going to be talking about something, well, that's actually been rather hotly debated in Poland lately, and that is citizenship by exceptional merit in Poland. So first of all, let's start with a little bit of background information. Citizenship by exceptional merit is actually a special provision of Polish nationality law that allows foreign nationals who have made an exceptional contribution to the country to obtain citizenship without having to meet all of the usual criteria. Now, to qualify for this provision, the applicant must have rendered outstanding service to Poland in the fields of science, economy, culture, sport or social activity. Now, you might well be wondering why this provision is causing such a stir. Well, it all started when the government of Poland began granting citizenship by exceptional merit to prominent individuals who actually had no prior connection to Poland. Now this, as you can imagine, caused something of a backlash from many people who felt that this provision was being misused. Now some critics argue that the provision is being used as a way to reward political supporters rather than individuals who've actually made a significant contribution to the country. Well, despite these criticisms, many believe that the provision is an important way to recognize the contributions of individuals who've helped to promote the image of Poland abroad. So, for example, the provision has been used to grant citizenship to artists and to musicians who've actually helped to promote Polish culture abroad, as well as to, say, scientists and entrepreneurs who've made important contributions to the country's economy. After the liberalization of regulations on granting Polish citizenship to foreigners, the number of people who acquired Polish citizenship actually doubled in the first four years. So between 4,500 and 5,000 foreigners are granted it annually. Now, earlier in Poland, that's between 2002 and 2011, citizenship was obtained by a total of more than 24,500 people. It happens that foreigners tie their professional future to the country as entrepreneurs or employees and justify their applications with this reasoning. In 2016, the president granted citizenship to 2,735 people, that's twice as many through recognition of citizenship by the voivode. In the following years, that is 2017 and 18, the president limited the number of people to whom he granted citizenship to 1,640 and 1,973 respectively. The list of people to whom the president has granted citizenship is not actually publicly available, and the president's office only exceptionally discloses the names of individuals. In practice, the procedure currently takes more than a year. A foreigner can obtain Polish citizenship in two ways, either by recognition or by granting it. Now, the first of the procedures is subject to several conditions, including knowledge of the Polish language, which is why a sizable number of foreigners choose the path of granting citizenship by the president. The latter option carries both benefits and certain risks. The advantage is the lack of formalized requirements for the submitted application. Now, the risk is the discretionary nature of the president's decision, which does not have to justify the grounds uh, he was guided by when refusing to grant Polish citizenship, and the non-appealable nature of such a decision is final, and the dissatisfied applicant is left only to submit another citizenship application. The requirements for applying for Polish citizenship themselves, uh, compared to other similar procedures, actually limited, as the key element of this procedure is ultimately discretion in the issuance of a decision. Nevertheless, a discussion of these requirements is most advisable, given that failure to meet them may even lead to leaving such an application unexamined at all. The application is submitted on an official form. In addition to the application itself, the following documents do need to be submitted. A passport size photo, a certified copy of all typed pages of the passport or travel document, original document for review, with uniform personal data, a certified copy of the residence card or certificate of registration of residence of a citizen of the European Union with updated applicant data, 
and a certified copy of the decision permitting residence in Poland. Additionally, you must provide documents confirming various details such as the data of the foreigner applying for citizenship, information on the foreigner's sources of income, legal title to occupy a residential unit, professional achievements, political and social activities if applicable, data of the foreigner's spouse if applicable, information on any minors covered by the application if applicable, information about parents and further ascendants if they were Polish citizens if applicable, and details about the applicant's past possession of Polish citizenship its loss and the date of acquisition of citizenship of another country, if applicable. An application for Polish citizenship shall be submitted in person or by correspondence with an officially certified signature through the competent voivode, in case of foreigners living in Poland, for his place of residence. Documents attached to the application must be submitted in originals or certified copies. Authentication of copies is performed outside the Republic of Poland by the Polish consul. An attorney or legal counsel does not have the authority to authenticate documents. The documents confirming the data and information contained in the application may be, in particular, the following documents stating identity and citizenship, entitling to reside or stay in the territory of the Republic of Poland, copies of birth certificates, copies of marriage certificates or other documents specifying marital status, stating the identity and citizenship of the spouse, stating the identity of the minors, entitling the minors to reside or stay in the territory of the Republic of Poland, confirming possession of Polish citizenship by parents or further ascendants, confirming the loss of Polish citizenship by a foreigner, his, her child, children and his or her ascendants, stating the acquisition of foreign citizenship by the foreigner or his or her children or child in case that they had Polish citizenship in the past confirming the source of livelihood, and confirming professional achievements and political and social activities. The documents to be submitted may vary depending on where the application is submitted, primarily whether they'll be submitted before a consul, but in general these are the documents indicated above. Now, in case you'd be interested in submitting applications for individual entrepreneurs, with each specific application, we would actually determine and confirm the final documents to be submitted, depending on the circumstances of the particular application and where and how it's to be submitted. The application should be filled out only in Polish. In addition, all documents in a foreign language must be translated into Polish by a sworn translator or consul. The application itself is not subject to a fee. Importantly, in principle, each circumstance claimed by the applicant should be documented and such documents should be submitted to confirm this data and information. The key element of the application is its justification, so that's the presentation of arguments in favour of granting the applicant Polish citizenship. Now, no legal act indicates what should be raised in the justification, and its content is fully left to the applicant, who here has the opportunity to present the motives for applying for Polish citizenship and extensive arguments in support of them. Here, the applicant has an unlimited field for convincing of the intentions and the legitimacy of their aspiration to obtain Polish citizenship. As indicated, there's full discretion of the President here. Nevertheless, certain elements can be pointed out, the fulfilment of which would certainly increase the chance of obtaining a positive decision. In particular, it's recommended to attach to the application documents confirming the applicant's ties with Poland, so learning the Polish language, developing and promoting Polish culture among foreigners, supporting social, cultural and economic initiatives acting for the benefit of the local community, 
or, and this one is especially important from the perspective of entrepreneurs, documenting activities in the development of the Polish economy. So, for example, by contributing to the growth of investments, technology transfer, the introduction of beneficial innovations or creation of jobs in Poland, as this will highlight the applicant's place in Polish society and emphasize why their application stands out from other applications of this type. Now, from the entrepreneur's perspective, it should be pointed out that the President of the Republic of Poland should be much more eager to issue a positive decision if the entrepreneur intends to make any real effort to develop the Polish economy. So, in particular, the applicant should at least conduct or intend to conduct business in Poland. It's desired to show that the applicant ties his professional future to the Polish country as an entrepreneur and aims to improve the domestic economy, especially by attracting capital from abroad, investing appropriate capital in the Polish economy. The connection to Polishness, which is important in these proceedings, can be argued by the applicant's Polish roots or their family's historical ties to Poland. If any of these circumstances occur, it is certainly worth indicating them in the application. Clients' entrepreneurs, when applying for Polish citizenship in the first place, should find the territorially competent Polish voivode or consul. It's to those bodies that all documents and their translations will be submitted. Now, certainly, the Polish consulate will additionally assist the applicant by explaining detailed issues concerning the documentation and its possible additions. Due to the inability to authenticate documents by a law firm, we do recommend choosing the path through the Polish consul. So, as you can see, the issue of citizenship by exceptional merit in Poland is certainly a complex and multifaceted one. Now, while some may argue that the provision is being misused, others see it as an important way to recognize the contributions of individuals who have helped to promote the image of Poland abroad. Whatever your opinion on the matter, it's certainly clear that citizenship is a deeply important issue in Poland that reflects the country's complex history, culture and politics. Since the procedure is unique, it is recommended that the applicant's ties to Poland be argued as strongly as possible in the application, which will strengthen it and increase the chance of a positive decision. It should be noted, however, that even a strong argumentation does not give a guarantee of obtaining Polish citizenship, since the President of the Republic of Poland has full discretion in this regard. So, that is it for today's video. I do hope that you found this discussion on citizenship by exceptional merit in Poland to be very informative. If you're looking for legal assistance in drafting and applying for Polish citizenship, well, we will be very happy to assist you in these activities. Also, don't forget to fill out the form in the description box. If you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below and we will do our best to respond. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content just like this. As usual, thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you again in the next video.